Hey there YouTube, Leap Master here with another video review and today I'll be taking a look here at the 1144 scale high grade Gundam Age Generation 3 Gundam Age 3 normal awesome you can see here it is in its uh, separate flight modes we have the G Scepter right here and the uh, core fighter take a look at the core fighter real quick <coughs> Very nice stand. Talk about that later. The core fighter is nice here. It actually hides the Gundam's face, sort of. You can still see the V-fin and everything, but still very nice. It's got a few stickers. Two black ones right here. Black and silver right here in the vents. And, of course, the age symbol. And uh, two white stickers right here. Nice green piece right here. Even though it doesn't stand out all that much. Would have been nice if there was a silver, st silver sticker under there. Might as well just paint it silver myself later but uh... Let's see the thrusters here are on ball joints so they can move around that's about it it's very nice looking actually i really do like this uh... core fighter and these wings can rotate for some reason but uh... that's about it for the core fighter now let's take a look at the g scepter see plugs right there into the back nice storage for the plug the G-Scepter is exactly what it looks like. The body of a mobile suit folded up. That's <laughs> really all. It's not bad looking, but it is by no means a nice, like, awesome looking piece of machine. It's nice how you have the rifle up here, the Sigmasses rifle, I believe it's called. It's pegged up here. You can just unpeg it. Pegs right there into the back. And that looks even worse without the rifle. But at least it's there. It's not terrible looking, but uh, definitely the H2 Strider form was a lot better. Now then, let's uh, parts form this, shall we? First, you're going to move the arms from this. Then you want to take this whole piece out. This is the only extra piece for the transformation. Two pieces of white, this piece of... Uh, clear green and a few pieces of blue and that's all you can see how it would transform like this piece would just fall down maybe the cockpit float fall away somewhere whatever and then you take the legs you see they're right here just straighten them out move those knee pads forward straighten out these ankle bits flatten the feet and uh... get the skirt down and there's the lower half of the body Next, you take in this piece, which is the actual torso for a mobile suit mode. Leave that there for now. You unfold the arms on their elbow joints. Just rotate the hands around. Flare out the uh, wings. And just flat, just attach them. And I will say this about a. Uh, the construction for this guy it was very fun everything like fit together pretty well with the exception of this ball joint on uh, this uh, part right here it fit into this no problem but uh, this was very loose when I first put it together and wouldn't hold together at all like I lift it up and the legs just fall down but I've since lined the inside of the red piece with some glue to tighten it up maybe a little bit too much glue but it's holding together now and there you go. Now for the cool part. You take the, G the uh, core fighter, you open that up, you take the head out. There's a simple peg that plugs into that. Fold this, just fold the wings up. Just angle the uh, thrusters back. And then you have this peg right there. So you're going to go into this back poly cap. And there we go. Just line it up nice and flat, and there's the core fighter on its back, and the head. Just fold that up. Got these two pegs that'll fit in right there. And it fits in nice and snug. And there we have the Gundam Age 3. Normal. I pushed him back, don't worry, that wasn't the back heaviness. He's a little back heavy, but only a little. And uh, all you're left with for extras is this piece right here that gets tossed to the side. 
And this guy is mad awesome. Mm, love it. Let's uh, look at his articulation. And then uh, stickers and all that goodness. For his articulation, his head's on ball joint. Moves up and down, side to side. Rotates. And I really like that this is a separate piece of plastic. A separate piece of red plastic. Yellow, blue plastic. Red plastic for under the eyes and the chin. Very nice color separation bandai. Bravo. His arms move forward and back, up and down, just like all the other age. Arms rotates right here. The flaps, this one can move out that far, this one that far. His arms can move out that high. Rotate. He's got a very nice elbow bend with a 180. Hinge on a ball joint and wriggle. Forward and back, torso movement, waist movement, skirts are on ball joints, you can separate, I have not. Side skirts are on uh, a hinge, strange enough, excuse me, forward and out. Back skirts can move, but with the uh, core fighter in the way, they don't move out as much. Actually, even with the core fighter there, it gets blocked by the skirts. Whatever, gut thrusters. His hips can move forward and back, and forward and back like so a bit. Just wider hips, right here. So it doesn't move forward and back as much. His legs move forward, back, in and out, rotate. He's got a very nice double jointed bend at the knee. This armor piece right here can move forward and back. This one is particularly loose, this one not so much. But, come on. Its legs have a double joint right here for the ankle armor. You can bring it out, move it down, whatever. But his feet are on a peg joint in the ankle right there. Move forward and back, rotates. And then he's got nice movement in the feet. Move forward and back, rotate a little, wiggle around. And he's got that going on. Very nice. Now then, for stickers, this guy has very minimal stickers. He's got the camera. Right there, very nice age face camera. Right there, eye camera, back of the head camera. These two white ones like I showed you before and the ones on the boosters, on the thrusters. Gray stickers on each side of the shoulder right there next to the yellow. Of course the age symbol. And uh, the one that's on the Sigmasis rifle right there in the tip. And that's about it for stickers. This guy's awesome. Everything else is molded plastic. The yellow right here and the legs on the shoulders. Everything is awesome about this thing. Now then for his accessories, as you saw, the Sigmasis rifle. This thing is awesome. It's huge. And if you want, you can fold the handle away. Don't know why you'd want to, but boom. And now it's just there. Well, you fold the handle out. You leave it like this for now. Stick that into the hand, and now you can rotate it under. And he's got his underslung giant fuck you up gun. And it's awesome. It's really cool too, because up apparently in the show, it um just kind of says screw the dodge rifle. That's not strong enough. We need something stronger. So they took the uh, cannon that was on the diva, and they essentially downsized it and turned it into this thing. Which is awesome. It's got nice detail on the inside of the uh, of the uh, gun right here. Let me see if I can't shine a light on that. Nope. And the lamp's too hot for me to move. Ow. But yeah, he's got that gun. And no weight issues whatsoever. He's holding this thing up like nobody's business. And he's like, yeah, look at that. This thing's surprisingly solid considering how big its weapons are. Its weapon is, anyway. <clears throat> He also has his beam sabers, which are in these things that rotate. So you can pull his beam sabers out. You might need a modeler's knife to get at that, because that's not coming out without a fight. Come on. Just take you off. Come on. Come on. Come on, bastard. I will have you come out. Yes. There we go. And you even got some detail on the inside of there to make it not boring when it's not in there. He can hold the beam saber, no difficulty there. You just pop a beam in. He does come with two clear beams. 
so you know, yeah, awesome. But what I prefer to do, and I'm putting this back in here, making the attempt I made to take it out in vain. But he's got holes in the front of these arm guards that allow him to put the beam sabers right there. So yeah, he can be like, yeah, unicorn style, baby. And I just love this thing. Oh, so much. Out of the three um, lead Gundams from the Age series so far, the Age 3 has become my favorite. Uh, oh, he also comes with an open left hand that can be stored in the bottom of his stand, just like the Age 2s. Very nice. And as you see here, for his stand, each of these port, uh, you have these ports right here, pegs, are a little bit adjustable with those three pegs. You can move it up any way you want. You just leave it straight up. Even the bottom peg, it's got those tiny little bit of notches in, in this thing. Whatever. Just rotate it around for mobile suit mode. And... Just peg this one back a bit, and now he can stand on this in this mobile suit mode. Awesome. Now then, let's do some comparisons. Here he is next to his daddy, Kyo's daddy, the Age Two, which we'll be getting again as the Dark Hound. Oh, Dark Hound. Pirates are awesome. Giant robots are awesome. Giant robot pirates. Where can you go wrong? <laughs> but, anyway, that aside, you can see he's a little bit taller. Overall, he looks kind of bulkier, but the Age 2 wins out in terms of width. And uh, even the Age 2's oversized Dodge rifle is paled in comparison to the Sigmas's rifle. <clears throat> and, of course, we got to compare him to Granddaddy Flit. So... Here's uh, the age one next to him, and he is puny compared to the other two now. They all look very nice together, though. It's like starter Pokemon, second, and then third. <laughs> but really, it's awesome seeing the evolution of these of these mobile suits. The age symbol just changes so slightly until it eventually becomes awesome. The heads are all amazing in terms of the build quality and all that good bullcrap. The guns, you can see a huge difference in their evolution with this average sized uh, dodge rifle. Then the oversized hyper dodge rifle. And then the... Yeah, I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess with your day. Your day is about to get ruined. Sigmas's rifle. Yeah. And that's about it. I would say that if you had to get only one of these three, hmm, that's a tough call. I'd say if you're going to get one, get the other two, because they all look great together, and, you know, it's it's a trio, it's a family. They want to be together. They want hugs, hugs and kisses. <laughs> well, that's it for me, guys. I'm a little tired, so I'm going to go to bed. Catch you all later.